life. There we go. We are live. Are you calling in more sense of balance, ease, and flow in your life? I am so excited to share an amazing tree guest with you today. Welcome to Tree Gong Wisdom Council live on EWN, One with the Earth. This amazing network is bringing you closer to your experience of unity with the earth. I'm gonna see if I can find my live stream so I can interact with your comments. Let me know you're here. I think I found it. Let me know you're here. Let me know. Comments. Let me know Oops. you're here. I think I found it. Now, if I can just turn off Let me the know, volume. Max, let me know you're All right, I did it. All right, technology is so much fun. So I have my live stream on my phone so I can interact with your comments as I share with you the amazing trees from my journey to San Francisco. Tree Gong Wisdom Council is a place for you to connect with the Global Council of Trees. It's a place for you to deepen your own connection to nature and receive wisdom as it is channeled through me from the trees for you. And I had a most amazing journey a couple of weeks ago. Some of you may have seen me supporting Terry Angel in her land blessings and performing water blessings from the head of the Sacramento to the mouth of the Sacramento to the Pacific Ocean. And I'm going to share a little piece of that journey with you here today. So who am I? My name is Kira Lani. I am known as the tree gong healer. I have spent my life studying self-awareness, self-healing practices. I have gone deep into my own personal shadow work so that I can be a guide to you. And along my journey, I discovered a deep connection with the trees. And the trees have told me that they want to connect with you. The trees want to return to a time when humans and trees are communicating and in balance and making decisions together for the co-creation of reality. So if you would like to be part of the Wisdom Council, I invite you to drop in with me here and share with me what are you calling into greater balance in your life? Maybe you're experiencing a financial struggle. Maybe you're experiencing struggles with your health or relationships. Where are you calling in greater balance in your life? The tree that I am going to bring to you today has offered to support you in coming more into balance and humanity as a whole to come more into balance with nature. So let me know in the comments where you're calling in more balance. I'd love to support you. And this tree that I'm going to bring to you would love to support you. And my work here on the planet, besides bringing through wisdom from trees, is really to help healers connect to their innate gifts so that we as humanity can heal from within, heal the planet, and create the reality that we want to live in. So if that sounds like a mission that you'd like to be on board with, please reach out. I'd love to share with you some opportunities to work more deeply in bringing forth your gifts and contributing to the new earth. But for today, I am so excited to introduce to you some eucalyptus love from San Francisco, California. So I have some pictures to share. Um, I'm still playing with different ways to share this with you, but let's do the virtual background share today. 
So here is the picture that I took as I was driving. I'm going to put myself over a little bit so you can imagine being in the driver's seat here. Stopped in traffic just at the perfect opportunity to take a picture of San Francisco from the Bay Bridge. This is the city of San Francisco across the Bay as I'm heading into the city, heading for the Pacific Ocean. So you can imagine that you are on your way to San Francisco and I hope you remembered to put a flower in your hair. Um, I'm gonna grab one just for fun. If you go to San Francisco, put a flower in your hair. I don't know the song, but I have this lovely flower that is actually a pine cone. So let's see if I can get it to stick to my head. Oh, I'll pretend I'm wearing a flower to head to San Francisco. All right, props are so much fun. Thank you for taking this ride with me, my friends. And as I was driving through the city, I suddenly felt a call from a giant eucalyptus tree. This is what the street looks like across from the park where I stopped. And here is the view from this amazing eucalyptus tree. So imagine approaching this tree. And before I share with you what the tree shared with me and what the tree is bringing through for you, I would love to take a moment for you to just have an opportunity to tune into what does this tree say to you? And I'm going to go through a few different views of this amazing, beautiful old eucalyptus tree. So you can tune in as I slowly pan through I think next time I'll have to bring a musical track for my slideshow. Hmm, I think I want to stay on this one for a moment. I'm gonna move over to this side so you can really get the full view as if, this is the view as if you are hugging the tree. So take a moment to lean in and Breathe deeply and imagine that you can smell the subtle aroma of eucalyptus emanating from the bark of this tree. Eucalyptus is a powerful healer. Eucalyptus offers healing to the lungs. It is antimicrobial, antibacterial, antiviral. It even protects us against um, insects. So it's a good flea repellent. It protects against parasites as well as being healing to the sensitive mucous membranes and skin tissues. So receive the healing love of the eucalyptus tree. And now gazing down at the foot of the tree, I wanted to show you the scale of this massive tree. So I took a picture of my foot and this is the foot of a tree, of the tree. I often connect to the feet of the trees because this is where the trees connect to the earth, just like this is where you connect to the earth through your feet. So as you gaze at the foot of this giant eucalyptus tree, I invite you 
to tune into your roots. Bring your awareness into the soles of your feet and the core of your pelvis. And as you drop your awareness down into the connection that you have with the earth, feel it broaden, just like this eucalyptus tree spreads wide at the bottom and tapers up towards the top. Feel your energy expanding into the connection with the earth. Feel your roots reaching out and connecting to the wisdom council of the planet, the trees in your neighborhood who are also communicating with the eucalyptus trees in San Francisco, California. Now we're going to come back to, let's go with this view. We're going to come back to the view of the tree and tune in to the wisdom that this tree has to offer. She actually gave me a piece of her bark while I was visiting this. If you notice the bark of the eucalyptus is always peeling off. And so there were layers of bark laying all around the tree. And this tree is inviting you to shed the layers that have represented your growth. The layers of bark getting shed off of the eucalyptus represent her growth and expansion as she lives more years on the planet. What have you grown into and what is ready to fall away so that you can expand even more fully? Receive the healing wisdom of the eucalyptus who says, continue to expand and grow for as many years as you are here on the planet. Continue to shed the outer layers so that your inner self can shine through more brightly. And when I was up against the tree taking these pictures and I paused in picture taking to connect my awareness, my consciousness to the deep consciousness of this ancient eucalyptus tree and through her consciousness to the eucalyptus trees growing throughout this massive, beautiful park running through the center of San Francisco, California. This tree sees people streaming by all day and night. She is very familiar with the struggles and strife of the human population. She showed me how many times she sees the suffering of humanity all around her. And she offers her loving, compassionate, massive presence to hold space for humans to come into balance. She is holding space for your healing. So I invite you to drop in deeply with Grandmother Eucalyptus here, receive her loving healing support. And I invite you to give to her an area where you have been feeling out of balance. Receive this loving healing support as she holds space for you to find balance tune in to what comes through for you. How can you receive this support and step more fully into balance in your life? What is one step that you can take? When you choose to step into your personal destiny, your personal soul mission here on the planet. This is choosing to create a co-created vision 
for all of humanity. So I invite you now to drop in to the consciousness field and drop into the comments of the video here. What would you like to create for the reality of the planet Earth? The trees are working behind the scenes to reweave the tapestry of consciousness around the planet. They're asking us as humans to contribute our consciousness to this effort. So if you have a beautiful old tree that you like to visit, go there, give your tree a hug and imagine you are connecting your tree with this beautiful eucalyptus in the center of San Francisco, California. And I will be connecting her with Grandpa Cedar and my sister Oaks and my pine tree sunfire here in Southern Oregon. And everywhere I go, I connect with the trees and offer this unification consciousness. So if you would like to contribute to the unifying of the consciousness field, it's just that simple. Take time to pause and smell the flowers. Take time to hug a tree. Visualize all of the trees that you have met in your lifetime gathered here in council together with us and drop in to the wisdom that they have to share with you. The trees are holding space for your healing and I am holding space for the healing of the planet. Who will come and hold space with us? Who will join us on this mission of healing and expansion? I'm going to bring through a message just for the collective. I'm not being able to see the comments coming through on the video, so I'll have to drop in with those comments later. Um, but do comment, and I will check in with the comments. And I'm going to bring through a message for the collective from this beautiful grandmother eucalyptus tree who is holding space for you to step into balance, holding space for you to become who you truly are. Grandmother eucalyptus, what message do you have just for those who are watching this video live on Facebook or watching the replay on YouTube? What message do you have? Ah, she's sending through a message of hope, hope eternal springing forth just like the buds return to the tips of the branches of the trees, even in the wake of a forest fire, just as the rain returns to the earth, even after long times of drought. Eucalyptus is saying, take heart. See the spark of hope in the center of your challenge. Form a vision of what you would like to co-create. And we, the trees of the world, are holding space for that fruition. Just as we continue to bud and blossom and create fruit and spill forth the abundance onto the earth below to be renewed and reborn. Such is your fate as humans, that you will find that spark of hope to lead you to your highest destiny. Ah, oh, what a beautiful message. Thank you so much for receiving. 
And um, I look forward to checking in with your comments. If you would like to join me on a journey of 44 days of magic, miracles, and money, we are starting Monday. And there is a link in the description of this video to check it out and jump on in. You are a magical manifester. You are the conscious creator of your reality. Or I should say you are creating all the time. Why not become more conscious about it? There is magic all around you. Why not? become more skilled at channeling it. There are miracles happening every day. Wouldn't you like to witness a few more of them? Join me on this journey and let's really become conscious co-creators of reality. You are, it is your birthright to live in joy and abundance to receive the fruits of inspiration, activation, and abundance and prosperity in your life. I am here to hold space for your transformation. Would you like to step into this vision? Ah, it's such a pleasure to be here with all of you. And I will continue um, working with the technology to make these broadcasts more and more smooth um, as this new network, One with the Earth, unfolds into its full glory. I look forward to seeing who will join me on this journey. Join me here every Wednesday at 2 p.m. Pacific and 5 p.m. Eastern time or from wherever you are in the world for Tree Gong, Wisdom Council on the second and fourth Wednesdays and Practice with Portals on the first and third Wednesdays right here on Enlightened World Network, One with the Earth and shared out to the Facebook and YouTube world. We are rising together to reunite with who we truly are and save yourself to save the planet. Heal yourself to heal the planet. One healer at a time, we can make a difference in this world. Thank you so much for the part that you are doing. And I look forward to talking with you more soon. So much love and light and be sure to check out all the other amazing Enlightened World Network shows on the three channels, the website, sign up for the newsletter. All the links are in the description of this video. Thank you so much for your support in bringing this message to the world. You deserve all the love. Bless you.